Here at the Fifth Estate, there's one thing that we agree upon, and that is this statement. Becoming is better than being. And that's precisely why we consider ourselves right here, the three of us, to be a work in progress. It means that we are never complete and you always have that opportunity to become someone better. Yes, it does allow you the ability to be comfortable while you are making mistakes. Mm -hmm. And you get also get to accept yourself mm. for who you are. Saw the mistake there. <laughs> yeah, yes, we are a work in progress. <laughs> Hi, I'm AX. Hi, I'm your host, GK. And I am Chris M. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. As you can see, Chris M, me this week, the, the sleeves are not rolled up. Ibaridi. Mm. Last week, Pia, I as saw. We are ah, no, this, as we are recording right now, the weather right now is 18 degrees. And as an African, a warm blooded African, this is winter. Okay. This is winter. Okay? We are freezing. Sour. Mm. So, uh, to warm things up, <laughs> we're going to talk about something uh, mm. very important. Basically, we're going to tell you, you the people. You're so proud of yourself. I'm very proud of myself for my dad jokes. Every week until the upcoming election, that's mm -hmm. the next three to four weeks, mm -hmm. we are going to have a segment that will talk about politics. Yes. And talk about politics in regards to the upcoming election. Yeah. So, of course, the best way to begin any discussion is on who is standing mm -hmm. and what they represent, mm -hmm. okay. A, a.k.a. the manifestos. Yes. So, for everyone who doesn't know, Kenya right now, for those for international guys, has four candidates, four out of 57, 57 who mm -hmm. tried, mm -hmm. four made it. Mm -hmm. Out of the four, we have, of course, the two uh, horses, WSR, William Samuel Ruto, and uh, Baba Odinga. Mm -hmm. Then we have two others. We have... The enigma himself, Prof. Wajak Professor Wajakoya, Wajakoya the fifth. Yeah. Uh, the, he is the man for the youth. And then we have Reverend uh, Wahiga Maore. Okay. So those are the four candidates we have. And each of them, yeah. as of we speak right now, have released their manifestos mm -hmm. for the public to discuss and for us to interact with on a, on a personal basis. Mm. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about manifestos, all about the promise, and we'll start, I'll, I'll hand over to AX, of course. Okay. We'll start from there and give our opinions on the whole thing. Okay, um, AX, take us through. Okay, so what do you guys want to know about these manifestos? Everything. Everything? Mm. Everything. All right, so mm. I'll start at the very beginning. Mm. Um, as GK has so correctly said, we are looking at four different manifestos mm. today. Mm. Of the four, the shortest one is Professor Wajokoya's. It is Good Ten one. Commandments. One page. One page, yeah. that was it. Yeah. And to be <laughs> honest, okay, what, what do you guys think about that? A genius. Why? Genius, because mm. uh, these other manifestos, they're bulky. Mm -hmm. You have a 40-page document, 60-page document. Mm -hmm. I look at it, I'm intimidated mm -hmm. by it already. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to go through it. You just throw numbers. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is too much. I'm like, okay, what did he say? So mm -hmm. I'll even ask someone else. What did he it. say, yeah. yeah. But a one-page document mm -hmm. uh, is something you can go you can go through within like two minutes. Mm -hmm. You're done with it. You look at it, you're like, you're even intrigued yeah. by a one-page document. And you know exactly what the person is promising. Yeah. We all know, number one on the guy's list, we, yeah. we, let's not beat around the bush, is the Bangi economy. Okay. And, and that has been his biggest platform. Yeah. Because many people of the youth <sighs> persuasion ha are very interested in Bangi farming. That's what we're going to call it, mm -hmm. in Bangi farming. Mm -hmm. and, all the, and the whole idea of the Bangi economy mm -hmm. and how much money it makes. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I found very interesting from his promises, from his manifesto, mm -hmm. was Isiolo. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. many people mm -hmm. wouldn't think about it, but actually, as scholars, when wait, we wait, hang on. What, what do you mean by Isiolo? Oh, sorry, yes, because yes. we read it, but the audience might have not. Yes. So, uh, Wajakoya is suggesting. Prof. That Wajakoya. We, Prof. Sorry. <laughs> put some respect on yeah, that name. How, how, how is the saying go? You just say Wajakoya? Professor. No, the that's fifth. The fifth. Yeah, there you go. No, but how say Prof? Mm? Okay, no, so. but that, that confuses. Prof with Prof. Oh, yeah. okay, professor. <laughs> <laughs> professor Wajakoya the fifth. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, he spoke about moving the capital of Kenya mm -hmm. yes. from Nairobi mm -hmm. to Isiolo. Mm -hmm. Now, this is not anything that's new. Um, Tanzania did it from Arusha to Dodoma. Dodoma. Mm -hmm. You have Lagos and Abidjan. No, Abuja. Abuja. Mm -hmm. Apologies. Even Ivory Coast did the same thing from mm -hmm. from Abidjan mm -hmm. to the one known no, no, uh, Yamasukro. Yeah, that one, yeah. Yamasuku. Impressive. So it, it's something countries have done. And Isiolo has already been something that, is, that scholars have talked about. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, this I've actually heard of before. Mm. In university, mm. in university when we're doing development studies mm. in Africa, people were talking about moving Isiolo. Even Lapset was talking about Isiolo potentially becoming the next hub, the next central mm. point of Kenya. Mm. The Architects Society of Kenya, if you read articles on, 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 on Google, mm. they talk about how Isiolo is a very strategic location. Mm. Nairobi has reached its, uh, its saturation, point. saturation point. It can't grow further yeah. without, give it, without now becoming a bit of a, 
a place that is not very good. The or sewer systems, all those things. Inaccessible. Yeah, it won't be good. Right. And so in moving to Isiolo, you have a complete space in which you can completely open up. Mm. You open the northern frontier districts, mm. which I've always felt that they're not necessarily part of Kenya. Mm. So that one I really enjoyed. That one I okay. really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. So um, as we have so eloquently discussed Roger Coy's manifesto, allow mm. us to move on to other people's manifesto. Specifically, mm. hey, Moore's manifesto. Mm. Because he did his campaign launch, I think it was sometime this week, it might have been Tuesday. Mm. And the central theme of this manifesto launch was Badilisha. It was about change. Mm. And, and the, the things that I took from it that I particularly liked where that he wants to increase revenue allocation to the counties to 40% mm -hmm. and designate 10% of that 40% to go directly to village councils. Mm -hmm. Is that a good idea? I personally liked it because I often feel that sometimes money does not, when the devolved funds mm -hmm. doesn't really end up at the lowest level of government for some people, mm -hmm. which is the village. But what do you guys think? Moore for me was interesting because I didn't know much about him until his manifesto came launch. out, yeah. And uh, watching him, I realized I didn't notice that his slope, his banner mm -hmm. is a lamb. Mm -hmm. okay. Then I was like, a lamb? Then, I was, then someone mentioned that it's, it's his connection because he's a reverend, mm. it's connection to, to Jesus and mm. the, the lamb of Christ. Mm. And so I was like, oh, that's really interesting. Then you listen to him and you're like, okay, he's very sober. He calls his promises the, the, the 12 Aganos. Mm. And I think his party is called the Agano, Agano party. party. Mm. Um, some of it was really interesting. He touches, it's a lot of reform based i think it's a lot of helping the the poor helping women it's interesting i wasn't like wow away by it but it was interesting mm. okay so, um for most of those manifestos mm -hmm. most of those candidates uh, had promised to increase uh revenue allocation mm. to the counties yeah and i'm particularly i don't say perturbed or i'm, I'm not all the way impressed by mm -hmm. or rather i'm not keen on them increasing mm. revenue allocation because mm -hmm. there's a thing that prof prof yeah, here, our, our, prof here, yeah. here that says yes. and he says if you if you learn to take care of the coins mm -hmm. the notes will take care of themselves mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so right now they are getting 15 percent mm -hmm. but they still misappropriation of those funds yes yeah. so are you just increasing money for them to misappropriate good mm -hmm. question good should question. we fa first make sure that We've, we've cleaned up, we've, we have channels in mm -hmm. which this 15% is properly utilized, yeah. mm -hmm. then now you can think of increasing more money mm -hmm. rather than just in throwing money to the problem mm -hmm. and hoping that the money will fix the problem. Actually, that, that, that's made me think about something that we've forgotten to ask before we've delved into the, the mm -hmm. manifestos. There's yeah. something we must ask. Yeah. What are your beliefs about manifestos? <laughs> what do you guys actually think about uh, manifestos? We'll start with you, Chris, and then we'll yes. go to AX, and I'll also give my opinion. Uh, Manifestos are good because they help sell the idea. Because mm. you come and tell people, I will do this, this, and this, and this is how I plan to do it. It's all captured in the manifesto. Yeah. We, my manifesto is more of a, a document of intent, right? Mm -hmm. I, I intend to do this within the first 100 days. It's just you listing your promises. Yeah. But then on the flip side is, it's just a statement of intent. Mm -hmm. It's just promises. Mm. So uh, I don't think, I don't think it's, you're compelled by your manifesto. It's not mm. a contract. It's not a contract. Yeah. So I, I, I would love if mm. there's a way we could make it more contractual mm -hmm. and you tell people within the first 100 days, mm -hmm. I'll have a road, a this, a this and that. Mm -hmm. And after every, see our presidential term is, two and, is five years. Yes, five years. Five after years. every two and a half years, mm -hmm. we sit down okay. and do a uh, progress. Yes, progress Check, assessment. Yeah. Like, so I had promised to do such and such. Mm -hmm. I've, come, I've done this and this. Mm -hmm. This uh, has started and something like along, mm -hmm. along those lines. But mm -hmm. right now, a manifesto is just someone coming and telling us, I intend to do this and this mm -hmm. if you elect me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's just more of a promise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if they don't deliver, there's nothing you can do to them. So in fact, actually, I want to pick up where you've left off because my primary issue with manifestos is that sometimes they're not fully realized, sometimes mm -hmm. they're not fully implemented. And mm -hmm. as a result, it just feels like you are presenting me with this paper because you have to do it, mm -hmm. not because you actually intend on communicating with me what your intention for government is. Mm -hmm. um, however, I did do some research and they said that like the manifestos do not affect voting intention as much as the party's core values, mm -hmm. the, your, your um, amiability towards the candidate and yeah. so on. Mm -hmm. But how they are launched and how they are received as well as how their policies stand up to scrutiny mm -hmm. can seriously affect the tone of media coverage, mm -hmm. which can affect voter turnout and how many votes you will get mm. so it's not about the manifesto mm -hmm. it's about how the manifesto is covered mm. i mean if you have a notice like you see it was after roger Coy's manifesto launch that he just blew up in popularity yeah and it's because of the manifesto whether or not you agree with it or disagree with it was still received and widely received it was discussed for like three days straight mm -hmm. and i think 
that is the importance of a manifesto. It mm -hmm. gets your name out there. It, it gives people something to talk about. Mm -hmm. And it maybe elevates your profile if you do it well, if you do it right. It's also how you deliver mm -hmm. the manifesto yeah. also. So I'm going to go against you guys a bit. Okay. I don't believe in manifestos <gasps> at all. I don't believe in the core. It feels like you're ticking a box. And manifesto is being developed to tick a box because it's been done, I think it, the, it originated in 1560-something, long, long ago, okay. as this promise that you give to people. Yeah. And for me, it, as you said, yes, it's a, document of, it's a statement of intent. Mm. And it's very good. I think it's more good for scholars mm -hmm. and people of, of, of that level who understand what goes between the work of those strategic things, mm -hmm. especially because of how intense manifestos have become. Yes. Yes. They went from being, this is what I promise. This is why, as a youth, as I'm a youth, mm -hmm. the one thing I really got attached to Wajakoya is because the guy was so simple, flat out, so clear. These other manifestos, mm -hmm. you have to go over it through with a fine tooth comb. In fact, there are guys on. I follow on Twitter, mm -hmm. because I'm trying to understand the manifestos, who spend like the first three days mm -hmm. going through the big manifestos and breaking it down point by point by point. Mm -hmm. It's too complex for me. Mm -hmm. I think for me, it's lost. Maybe manifestos have lost what they're supposed to have been. For mm -hmm. me, it's supposed to just be a simple statement of intent. Mm -hmm. Don't necessarily tell me how, because how will change. How will how always, always, always change. changes. Mm. That's that's the thing. We all think we know how things work until we enter Actually. the space and see, okay, the mm. how will change. Mm. Tell me what you promise. Mm. Let me see what you promise. Mm. Let me see if my values align with your promise. Yes. And then from there, now you'll get to the how. No. Well, I, I, I beg to differ. I, yeah, I was going to say I beg to mm. differ. And I, it makes a lot of sense, but you go first. Okay. So my thing is, right now, I want to run for a political seat. And mm. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I'll make sure that... Uh, Everyone gets to travel mm -hmm. and go to the U.S. at least twice a year, Woo! right? But I'm not telling you how to make US sure. Right <laughs> yeah? Well, actually, yeah, no, me, 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 maybe not America. Don't, they, don't, don't use the U.S. No, no, no don't, don't hit on that country. <laughs> so I'm telling you, <laughs> I'll give you, uh, uh, I'll pay for holiday for all Kenyans mm -hmm. twice a year mm -hmm. to go out of Africa, Ooh. right? Yeah. But that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But now a proper manifesto for me, mm -hmm. for me, would be, I'll do that by mm -hmm. ensuring that we sell coffee mm -hmm. and then from every Every shilling you get from coffee, mm -hmm. 10 mm -hmm. cents mm -hmm. go into this fund mm -hmm. that will ensure that we can do this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. So that, that is what a manifesto is to me. You're but telling we, me what you wait, do, and then also would you get me a offended if the how changed? If you no, realize you no. can't take the 10%. No, no, no but, but, but the how is important for this reason. For mm -hmm. example, if I say that I'm going to clear all of our national debt mm -hmm. in six months, mm -hmm. right? That's, 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 a, that's a good promise. It's a good plan. Mm -hmm. But the how matters, yes. right? Because I, cause if, if the how is that I'm going to dispossess every single, uh, I don't know, mm -hmm. every single person with, with green eyes in Kenya and take their property and, and give it back to the state. Oh, my goodness. Then, then <laughs> obviously, like, that's something you disagree with, right? Because mm -hmm. the how does not align with the values, even though the promise does. Mm -hmm. Or it's, it's, it's the same reason why people are like, like, yes, I agree with, with Wajokoya, like, we need to do something about the national debt. Mm -hmm. However, I disagree with how he wants to do it. Yeah. Like, the how is what is actually preventing some people from voting for one candidate or another. Mm. That is why it's important. Very crucial. And then I, I was also listening to, some, to a certain podcast called Nairobi. And these guys, <laughs> they were talking about how uh, a manifesto is supposed to be let me let me use as an example right mm. now. AX and I come together and we, let's let's form a party. Yay. And we, we have a manifesto. I'm offended, but it's okay. It's mm -hmm. okay. You, you, you can be the speaker. Ah. <laughs> so we decide that <laughs> we'll form a party and we'll we'll move forward together. Uh -huh. mm. Then after I've served my two terms mm. and she's now supposed to come up again. Mm. She, she drafts a different manifesto from mm -hmm. what we came up with. Mm -hmm. Let me be blank. I'm talking about William Samoy Ruto. <laughs> uh -huh. He was part of the Jubilee Party. Yes. When the Jubilee Party was coming up with the manifesto, mm -hmm. it was the president, Huru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. and his DP, William Ruto, mm -hmm. sitting together mm -hmm. and agreeing that this is what we need to do. This is our vision mm -hmm. yeah. for the country, mm -hmm. our vision. Mm -hmm. Now that he was part of the government mm -hmm. and uh, Uhuru Kenyatta has finished his, mm -hmm. his term, mm -hmm. why can't he continue? Because he same feels good work. Yes, he feels like we had a good vision for this country. Mm. We didn't get to implement it. Mm. Why does he feel the need to? Actually, no, actually, in fact, um, I've been going through that um, Kenya Kwanzaa slash basically UDA, UDA manifesto. manifesto. Yeah. And it is basically the 2017 Jubilee Manifesto, oh, so which is painted yellow and oh, green. Okay. Um, a, a, a lot of examples. With, with a lot more spelling errors. Yeah, with a lot, with a lot more, so many spelling errors. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
ridiculous. Mm. For example, uh, when he's talking about roads, like one of the first things he says is that he wants to complete all the started roads. Mm -hmm. How is that anything new and Smoking different? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in the campaign trail, you're busy telling people that everything the president has done is it's evil bad, and bad. Evil, mm. And in terrible. your manifesto, you're saying you want to finish it. Mm -hmm. Please make up your mind. Even the that. housing unit, yeah. you said 250,000 mm -hmm. uh, per year, which is which, year. which is base, which was what the government target ended up being because mm -hmm. it started at 500,000 mm -hmm. and then COVID, yeah. so it changed. Yeah, for me. And actually, I'm going to ask you guys this question. Because me, I'm still enamored by the entire manifesto thing. I like, um, Baba had the Baba Care. He had the manufacturing, the 6K, the 6K uh, very the clear. Culture, yeah. Agriculture, the very clear step. The 10, point, uh, 10, 10 points yeah. that we needed to follow for his agenda. And for me, the biggest point for me, for him, has, is not even Baba Care. It's not on it. It's, it's the fact that there are some issues we have to solve. People always think that you treat Kenya like it's a business. No. Nope. And so you treat it like you're a CEO and the venture must go like this. No, because mm. a CEO is a boss. They're not a leader. Mm. A boss is just about the bottom line. Mm. Okay. A leader is about improving you and growing you. Mm. And to me, what um, Baba is supposed to bring is leadership in terms of a unity that needs to happen between the people. A unity that has not occurred since 1969. That is, uh, is it 66? Um, actually, we, mm -hmm. you would argue that like even in the 1990s where people were fighting mm -hmm. for multi-party democracy, that we mm -hmm. were somewhat unified. Somewhat. Against one person. Yes. Two or two. Two, 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 two again so in 2013. Small, small pockets, but yeah. you've never had like that full, that full process that has grown. And that, yeah. to me, is his goal. Mm -hmm. So me, the, the question I was going to ask you, and clearly you've agreed with me, is when guys um, and analysts say that you should treat a manifesto like a CEO giving their vision for the company. Do you agree with that concept? Treat Kenya like a business. Are, are, are we not a business? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was in school, I was told CBK is not a bank mm. because they don't engage in banking business, mm -hmm. right? But if you look at Kenya, mm. we, make, we, we, we grow things, mm -hmm. yes. We sell, mm -hmm. we buy. Mm -hmm. And we look at our debt or whatever we balance our books so to speak mm -hmm. so if you think about if you think about it extensively like that mm -hmm. a country is some sort of a business mm -hmm. we employ people we fire them mm -hmm. so the president is the ceo or mm -hmm. so if, if he's not running our country the way mm -hmm. we like you have a five-year contract mm -hmm. we fire you we hire you and all those things mm -hmm. so it, it, it is a kind of sort of, sort of. So i i disagree mm -hmm. and you know we were on the same page just for most of this episode I mean, it had to happen we it needed had to happen it means it means <laughs> something <laughs> is happening now <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so okay what i wanted to say was that i don't think we should treat any country any nation as a business mm -hmm. because whenever you think of business the image that comes to mind as you said is mm -hmm. the bottom line bottom line right it is it is, it is about maximizing prioritizing or maximizing your profit and mm -hmm. minimizing your losses yes. often to the exclusion of like real human lives and Absolutely. the people within them. Yeah. Okay. And you often, like, basically what you end up with is America. Mm. Because America for the longest time has been treated, as, since Reagan, has been treated as a business. Mm. Where you put corporations first, you focus on manufacturing and production and all these things, mm. and then figure, and then just say, look, the people will, will, if we give people more money, they will also benefit as well. But mm. that's not always well, even true. Even if you give them more money, it doesn't solve some of the some issues of the in intrinsic that issues. have never been addressed. That's yes. my whole point. <laughs> They are one of the largest, uh, one of the most mm. prosperous nations in this world. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. very rich. And I'm thinking, if we treat Kenya like a business, mm -hmm. then we look at our leaders mm -hmm. as our employees. Mm. Yeah, but like this CEO the, yeah, is not leading better, us anymore. Yeah. yeah, fire that CEO. Mm -hmm. This MD, who's the uh, whatever post, mm -hmm. is not leading us in the right direction. Yeah. he's gone. Mm -hmm. So. Look, look at Kenya as a country and you're the boss mm -hmm. and you're hiring those people. Because mm -hmm. if you don't look at it that way you, and you focus on the people, mm -hmm. you're like, okay, this MCA, he, mm -hmm. he's useless, but he's a person mm -hmm. and he has family. No, how about, fire him if he's not doing the right job. How, mm -hmm. about, how, about, how about balancing these two perspectives, right? Mm -hmm. You treat your politicians as your employees. You demand the absolute best of them and you mm -hmm. hold them to the strictest, highest standards. Mm -hmm. I'll be very quick because I know we're running out yes, of time. Yes, um, that's, that, but that's then, the eyes I was giving you. <laughs> fine, Jesus. <laughs> but then, mm -hmm. when you're also also thinking about the things they're promising you yeah. start to think about the people mm -hmm. right because right now whenever I'm I'm thinking about who to vote for because I know I have about like 30 ish days mm -hmm. to go um, I'm thinking about okay how will this benefit my community mm -hmm. how will this benefit more than just me mm -hmm. right and and that's and that's this balance I'm trying to strike. So you, you prefer more of a hybrid? Mm. Yes, a hybrid, hybrid model. I like that you're thinking about that. Me, I'm thinking about what's the best time to go and vote because those lines <laughs> are just, those lines are a mess. The first time I ever voted was 2017 
and bro, I was like, I'm gonna go at 6 a.m. Yeah, no, be, I was told. So 6 you're late. Biggest yeah, it's 6 you're late. You have to show up at Either three. go at 3 mm. or go at 4. Like, yeah, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Don't, don't ever go during the day. But anyways, that's food for thought for another day. So we're gonna take a break here, and then we'll come back with a nice breaker. Mm Welcome back to Work in Progress. And now to conclude the show, we're going to go, uh, we, we did it the wrong way around this time, or the, a different way this time. It's different, it's not wrong, Cause, yeah. because yeah, because we don't want you to know us. That's why even the, the clean <laughs> shave today, you know? Wait, um, was it yeah? never let them, never let them see your next move? Exactly, exactly. And, yeah. and Whip is, is part of that That's movement. Right. Anyway, so we're going to play a game. And today's game is by one of our producers, Mr. GW himself, the chairman. And he said that uh, today we're going to play a game called Would You Rather. So mm -hmm. he sent me a number of questions, a number of scenarios. And I'm going to ask you guys, and we'll have conversations around those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. First question. <clears throat> Would you rather have the ability to see 10 minutes into the future or, or 150 years into the future? 10 minutes or 150 years into the future? If... I wanted to be, like, for, for nothing else than it would be really cool, 150 years, because mm -hmm. I have a feeling like the Earth would be a desolate hellhole. Okay, thank um, you very much. I see the hope. Hey, climate change is a real <laughs> thing, my guy. <laughs> like, we have to accept it. Mm -hmm. However, I think it would be a lot more useful in my life if I could see 10 minutes ten into minutes the future. Into the yeah. future. Yeah. Yeah. May I have a problem with that whole statement. Why? It shouldn't be 10 or 150 years. May I just want to see 30 years from now. I want to see if, if I'll have children, no, no, if but I'll like, move on. No, but I'll all you need to know is the next 10 minutes. No, no, the next 10 minutes. Okay, because you'll always know the next 10 minutes. Then you always know. No, 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 150 years. Me, I say 150 years. But you'll be dead. See, then I can see what the world looks like without me because I know how important I am to the world's movement. Next question. <laughs> Would you rather have telekinesis? That's the ability to move things with your mind. Mm -hmm. Or telepathy? That's the ability to read minds. For me, it's 100% telepathy. Telepathy. I want to know. I want to be able to think move badly things. About yeah, me. I want to. No, I want to move things. Um, for me, it's not even that about thinking badly. Mm -hmm. I just want to know what you really think of me, mm -hmm. so I can so I can adjust accordingly. I also want to know if I'm being scammed. Really. Have you watched those movies where people have the ability to hear mm -hmm. other people's thoughts? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they are tormented. You can never understand anything because at any one time so there are like many. thirty people. You have to focus. Yes, so but I can focus this thing to be like Chris. Sam, I insulted him yesterday. Did I offend him, or did I not? Just ask. No, no, no. Just people ask. lie. No, oh, I want to know the secrets to 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 like a meeting. I just. Read your mind. Oh, that was what you did. Be a spy. There's an answer to everything you're saying. But moving <laughs> things with your mind, there's no... Be okay, a spy. Okay, move them with what on. God gave no, you. No, imagine, imagine I'm in my room. I'm in my room and my parent is telling me, give me this remote. I'm like, check your hand. By the way, by the way, by the way, do you know how annoying it is to be called from the comfort and safety of you your get, room to you get a remote? You preaching for uh. the lack of health in this society. Our parents <laughs> do that to make us work <laughs> Make us walk down the stairs, walk back up the stairs. No. To move the hands a little bit. Okay, you're saying that. Uh -huh. And then that goes against your human interaction thing. Because if you've offended someone, just mm -hmm. talk to them. You don't have to, to sit down and start <laughs> thinking, huh? What For is me, I go, by, I go by this one statement. And it's not a good statement to hold, but I'm a work in progress. <laughs> People lie all the time. Are you a liar? Yes. No, I speak truth and I speak truth to power. But... He's lying. Lie. Oh, that's a lie. You just lie. lied. You just lied. I don't need to, to read your People mind about lying. your lying. You right always now. lying. That's yeah, terrible. We move. Next question. Would you rather be forced to sing along or dance to every single song you hear? Now. Wait, wait. Forced now. to sing along? Or dance. Or dance. And to every like single song. Every you hear. time. Now, for me, that is an easy question. You'd sing. I would sing. Very I would happy sing along. Every song. But then you vo you lose your voice unless you must have some like supernatural power like voice longevity thing. I'd rather dance. I'd rather see, dance. Dancing mm -hmm. is also subjective. Mm -hmm. Me doing this, this is dancing. Terrible. This is dancing. No, no, this is dancing. Yeah. Uh -huh. But singing along, I have to sing every word, mm. every note of that. No, I'm yeah. not. That, that, that's too much work. I would rather dance for the exercise. Sing for the Celtic. vocal exercise. Just you can. Every answer has another answer, as, as you said, Chris. M. Next one. Would you rather find true love today mm -hmm. or win the lottery next year? Lottery, 100%. Lottery. Oh, that's a difficult Money question. can buy love. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm with you, yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm taking the lottery. The lottery? Yeah. 
Don't make, don't, mm. You have to be Kenyan and you can't agree. Every you agree, Kenyan you will say the lottery. It's not. It's 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 not about the agreeing or not. It's a very it's a very difficult question. It's easy. It's, it it's, it's a very easy. difficult it question because easy. the value you get from true love is not the same thing as the value you would get from like the lottery. What does true love mean? I'm just, I'm Which lottery am I winning? Is it like the the, the Powerball? Like a hundred million dollars or something. Whatever it is, even if it's five hundred thousand shillings. Me, I'm taking say, the five hundred G's. Yeah, we're uh, taking the five hundred G's. I'm taking that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I'm a, I'm a firm believer mm-hmm. that things attract people, mm. whether you want to agree or not. Yeah. <laughs> but the right kind of people. Mm-hmm. So the the right kind changes depending mm-hmm. on what you're looking for. Mm. So if I have if I have a hundred million dollars, mm-hmm. the right type of person. Not mm-hmm. shillings. No, no, no. Even, <laughs> even shillings, even shillings. Yeah. The right type of person will change depending mm-hmm. on what you have. Exactly. I'm a firm believer in that. Exactly. So the best, the best person right now. Let me use this example. Uh-huh. The best woman in Kenya uh-huh. could be a woman living in Madare. Uh-huh. But if you're a billionaire, you don't go there looking for that best woman. And you remember there was this lady else. called Pamela Jelimo. If I don't know if oh. you all remember her. Yeah. The, the Diamond League winner. The Diamond League winner. When she uh-huh. won the gold, it was called the Golden, golden League. league when she right. won the Golden League, her suitors went from none to like people coming to her door. Begging her, going to her parents. She had seventy million, right? Seventy million. Yeah, that time one dollar was like seventy shillings. So, mm-hmm. seventy million. So, uh, so the answer th- is take the money. Take, uh, take, so, take the money. Forget what you're thinking. Take the money. Mm-hmm. That's that's you and I. Aileen, AX will go for the nini. No, I'm undecided. No, 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 she's agreed with I'm me. undecided. I have us. not agreed. I'm just undecided. Everybody decide. Okay. I don't want to. <laughs> okay. She's then she's decided. I haven't. <laughs> okay. This is the next one. Would you uh, would you rather be alone all your life or mm. surrounded by really annoying? People? Alone, alone. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm better. I, better I'm, by I'm 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 very good company. I've learned to live alone. It's fine. I want to be alone. Annoying people. What defines annoying? Annoying. Whatever annoying is to you. Ah, bro, no. Think of it that way. Whatever no. is annoying to you. Because Those because and and the, and the thing is, in my mind, like once you get used to their very specific annoying ways, mm-hmm. they develop new annoying habits that piss you off in very unique but ways. Everyone gets annoying at some point. Yes. Mm. <laughs> okay, last question, okay? Okay. Okay, <clears throat> okay would you rather mm-hmm. detect every lie you hear or or get away with every get away. lie you tell? Get away. Get away with it. Get away with <laughs> That's it. That's a really good Detect one. Detect every liar here. Get away, Cause, get cause away with it. Exactly. I'm, I'm changing. I want to become a man who never lies. Oh, that's right? going to be a difficult task. Hey, no, have faith. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. I don't want to ever lie. Uh-huh. So I don't want to get away with lying because mm. I don't want to lie. So mm. I'd rather, well, well, once you lie to me, I'm like, okay, GK was lying. Mm-hmm. I will not engage. And the power of honesty increases when you see how much people lie to you. Let me tell you how, how, how you guys are both wrong, right? Mm-hmm. If you can get away with any lie, I mean any lie, you can basically rewrite reality. That's okay. Is that a good thing? Yes. I want that power. I want to be Thanos with a red thing and snap my fingers and everything becomes what I want. She has basically told us, never vote for AX for president. Oh, I already know. Ali. Please, no. I'm not. Okay. Hey. That Woo. power hunger is a bit too much. It's yeah. not, it's not. Yes, it I've been starved. I've not, I, Whatever. <laughs> we, need, we, need, we need to go. We need to go. We need okay. to go. Yeah. So that's where we're going to stop work in progress today. Thank mm. you so much for watching us. Mm. And we'll be here with you like we always are. Mm. Next. Before week. we go, <laughs> oh, find time, read the manifestos yes. before you go and vote. Yes, please. Make an informed decision mm. when you go to the ballot. It took my host duties, but it's okay. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.